the parallels, I think, generally between sport and, and music are extremely strong, and particularly with golf, going to the driving range, being specific about a club choice, uh, maybe a certain distance that you're trying to uh, accomplish, a certain shot shape that you're trying to accomplish, uh, repetition, muscle memory. Both need to be practiced, I suppose. One needs to and practice being in the room and then also practice competing and being out there. I think I probably practice my violin better after I've played golf. So my name is Ben Powell. Uh, I'm a violinist, a jazz violinist, and I contribute to the Hot Club of America uh, by playing uh, the role of, I suppose, Stefan Grappelli. Ben Powell came into the project, was one of the first names that we brought into the project. I was always um, very impressed with the Ben's ability to, to swing, so we always had a good time playing together. He plays, he's somebody that likes to play less notes, but maybe swing them in the right way. I was drawn to, to jazz music when I was in about my early teens, 13, 14 years old. I heard a, a CD by Stefan Grappelli. At that point, it was uh, very liberating for me to hear somebody uh, play the violin so freely without any music and to improvise and to make music up because until that point, I'd been reading music. Ben is a wonderful player and I've come to realize he's a great classical player. He also plays plays the crap out of jazz and um, he's really swinging and he sounds a lot like Rapelli. I'd say pretty, pretty close. I suppose there's a, there's a lot of parallels that go beyond um, just the practice of golf or just the practice of music that we could make with gypsy jazz and, and this community element. And being able to play golf anywhere in the world, that's the other thing. A bit like Django, you can take his music anywhere to people that know it and play it with them. You can pretty much take a golf club most places now and I could enjoy a, an afternoon with somebody I may not be able to communicate with linguistically, but we could probably have a great game of golf and enjoy each other's company just being on the same fairway. As a classical musician, um, I love exploring the melodies within gypsy jazz. I think it's a wonderful thing. A lot of the melodies that Stefan and Django wrote are, are, are wonderful, and a lot of them are written for the instrument, for the violin. So I find them very expressive and just always a very uh, a wonderful way to explore a melody and, and to be able to play it. It's a very special thing. This is fun and 
it's important for people to remember that, particularly people who aren't pursuing this as a profession, who really approach the music as a way of liberating themselves and really for the love of it. We have to remember that's what this is.